Hello everyone. I want to speak about something that some people may not really consider. Many people may want to get married and they may believe that when they get married, every day is going to be about happiness and joy and you know, every day is lovely and things of that matter. When you are married, I believe there are going to be many days, many days where you aren't going to be happy. There may be many days when you may feel like there is no love in the marriage. There may be times where you will think, oh, I made a big mistake in marrying a particular person. You may feel that so much. Marriage is not all about sunshine and roses. Every day is a beautiful day. Like things are going so well all the time. Every day is not really going to be that. Some days may, but you may have many days where you may cry or be upset. Are you listening to what I am saying? Um, you may have watched some movies. You may have read some books about love and marriage and stuff like that. And uh, maybe much of the books that you have read have given you like a vision of how love and marriage is not really about. So when you get into it, you may become very disappointed and like, hey, I did not know marriage is this hard i thought marriage was about me and that kind of brings me to my next point marriage is not all about your happiness marriage is not all about me 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 i believe there are so many selfish people in this world so some people may believe okay they are selfish now, so when they get married, they can be still, they can still be selfish then. And I don't think that is the case. If you really want a successful marriage, a successful a biblical marriage, you have to be selfless, not selfish. Maybe contrary to your belief, the world does not revolve around you. Is it the world or the, the sun? Well, the world does not revolve around you. And even if you are so amazing, even if you are so great, Stop having it in your mind that you are the prize and you are this very big person and everyone and everyone should bow down to you. Quite honestly, I don't think many people are ready for marriage. Then again, let me say this as well. I believe we have been placed on this earth one of the reasons, at least, I believe one of the reasons why we are on earth is to learn how to love, how to become more like Jesus Christ and less of ourselves. So if you get married, I believe it is the same thing. I would say being on this earth and getting married is like 
I would say it is like you are being trained. Trained to have more characteristics of God. And I am speaking about the fruit of the Spirit, which is in, I believe, Galatians chapter 5, if I am not mistaken. So, if it is true we are being trained by God, if you are training, if you are being trained on something you don't really know about, per se, I believe there are going to be very difficult times. For instance, if I were to try to <laughs> run track or cross country when, I guess when you have to run for, I don't know how many miles, but let's say an hour or more straight or having to run a particular speed for a long time. If I were to do that right now, <laughs> I would struggle so much. I would be like maybe within two to five minutes, I would probably be very tired, maybe out of breath, so to speak. If you stick with Jesus Christ, if you go through marriage, I believe God will use marriage to mold you more like himself, as in, and I am speaking of character-wise, maybe more than character, who knows? Some people may have this fantasy if I am with the right person, there should be no problems. There should be no trouble. There should be no disagreements. Like, we should be able to agree on everything. Like, we should be happy 90% of the time. Like, things should flow real easy. No problems. I am happy. You know, that happens when you have the right person in your life. Listen, man, I believe it is not going to be that way. Stop watching all of these movies. These movies that give you the wrong idea of what love and marriage is. Because I believe it is clouding many people's minds before you got married what if you were told that marriage is not all about happiness there will be times where there may be arguments and this will happen and that will happen like what if you were told the actual truth of marriage i believe you would be maybe more prepared or you probably would not get married. Please listen to what I am saying. When you first meet a person, I believe with many people, they probably will show the best part of themselves to you. So, inside of your mind you may think like hey this person is perfect you know I love that person that person loves me and I know everything is going to work out then maybe after or after a while you may begin to see like hey this person is not really what I saw or should I say, after a while, you may begin to see like, hey, I see faults. I see some things that I didn't see 
before. Stop thinking that you should always be happy. Well, let me say it in this way. We should be happy no matter if bad things are happening or not. But stop thinking that everything is going to go your way always. Like how you picture things in your mind. Stop believing that things are always going to go that way because I don't think that is the case. If you want a so-called perfect marriage, I don't believe it is just going to fall in your lap. I don't believe that you are just going to get it because you just exist. I believe if you want a good marriage, or should I say a better marriage, I believe you have to work for it. Are you listening to what I am saying to you? In the beginning, you may believe you have so much love for that person. Let's say you have known that person for one month. So maybe your energy, your love, your emotions may be so high in the beginning. You may think that, oh, I can be with this person for the rest of my life. But give it time. Let one year pass by. Two years, three years, five years. Okay, how do you feel about that person right now? Let's see how you feel after disappointments, disagreements, arguments, things going wrong, less money, less this, less that. You can't do things as much as before. Okay, how do you feel about that man or woman? T tell me. See, I believe people, some people are not really telling others about how marriage is. I believe if many people knew more about marriage they probably many probably would not get married and I am not saying I know everything of marriage but what I am learning or should I say what I have noticed marriage is not about one person but two I may not do the exact things as you, but I am contributing something. I am contributing something. You are contributing something, or you should be contributing something. I may not do the same things as you, but I am doing something. So. In a sense, I am serving you and you are serving me. It never should be, please listen, it never should be one person serving the other, but the other is not serving the other, if that makes any sense. Person A is serving person B, but person B is choosing not to serve person A. That should not be. Person A and person B may not do the same things, but they should be serving each other in some type of way. And you really can't put a percentage on it. Some people may say 50-50. I believe every circumstance is not really same, the same. I don't think, like, it really depends. 
Also, I believe one of the reasons why the divorce rate is so high, because many people are selfish. For instance, a person probably did not know that marriage is not all about them, all about their happiness, all about what they want. Maybe they did not know they have to serve the other person. Maybe they thought inside of their mind they only have to give sex and that's it. And the other person should buy this, buy that, do this, do that, provide this, blah, 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 blah. True marriage is not about selfishness. If you want to have a successful marriage, you can't be selfish or you have to learn to be selfless. I am not speaking about these open marriages and all that other mess they call marriage. I am speaking about biblical marriage. But I hope all of this makes sense. May God bless us.